Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am doing part two of my favorite affordable makeup products. Part one is already up so I will link it in the description box below if you haven't already seen it. All the products that I mentioned in that video were $10 or under. Bargain. And then all of the products I'm mentioning in today's video are $12 or under. All the products I'm mentioning I have used a ton of times, so I know they are good. I'm really excited to share them with you, so let's get into it. First up, we have the BYS Full Coverage Foundation. Now, this one is $11.95, and the coverage and longevity of this is outstanding. I feel like back in the day, a lot of the BYS products were major misses, but they have really improved over the last couple of years. I was super impressed with this foundation. It just applied beautifully on the skin. As I said, very full coverage. I'm wearing it today. Mm. It dries down to a matte finish and it actually lasts on the skin. It doesn't break up and go all funky throughout the day, which is kind of what I expect with more cheaper foundations, but this one really impressed me. The only bad thing about this foundation is that the range sucks. There are only four shades. Excuse me? Four shades? So that's very disappointing. Next up is the Essence Contouring Duo Palette, and this retails for $7 at Priceline. Essence is a brand that has been exceeding my expectations of them lately, and this contouring palette is just fantastic. So as you can see, the shades are quite cool toned. I know that this one here looks super light and it's like, what the hell is that gonna do? But if you are as fair as me, it's actually quite a nice shade. This shade here is perfect for contouring because it does have that cooler tone, so it's able to sculpt the face. I can wear this on its own, but if I am going for a more bronzy look, I do also like to go in with something that is a little bit more warm, but this is just such a perfect palette if you've got fair skin. The formula of these powders are just beautiful. They are really soft, they blend just effortlessly on the skin and there is no patchiness whatsoever. Next I have some eyeshadows by e.l.f. and these are the liquid glitter shadows and these retail for $12. Now I have two shades here. First up is Dirty Martini which is what I have on my eyelids today and then I have Flirty Birdie which is one that I just use all the time. These are such a good dupe for the Stila liquid shadows and literally a fraction of the price. The shade range is quite varied with lots of different options. I love this dirty martini color. It's not one that I dip into often, but when I do, I'm just blown away by the shade. It's just so grungy, but it has such a beautiful glitter to it. And then I also put a little bit of flirty birdie just tapped on top to get that extra bit of sparkle. You can use it as a shadow all over the lid. You have time to work with it and blend it out and it doesn't dry down to a hard, kind of like crispy, <laughs> thick layer. Ugh. They have such a great reflective quality. The sparkle is just stunning and for $12, you can't pass them up. Now don't get these ones confused with the e.l.f. metallic shadows. These ones are all right. Really beautiful shades, but they just don't have the same effect as the glitter shadows. I found when putting these ones all over the lid, it kind of dried down to that crispy layer that I talked about, which is kind of a bummer because these shades are just so pretty and they have, again, that beautiful reflective quality. I think if you go in with a light layer, they work nicely, but I definitely prefer the glitter liquid shadows. Next is another one by Essence, and this is the 24 Ever Defined Volume Mascara. This, okay, let's just look at my lashes. Excuse me? They are so long. They have volume. They just look so good, if I say so myself. When I first tried this mascara, I thought the wand was way too big and like it is a pretty big wand, but after using it a few times, I grew to really love it. I do think like if you've got smaller eyes, you might find this wand to be a bit hard to work with, but for me and my bug eyes, it's, <laughs> 
it's easy. I think that it layers really nicely. It doesn't dry down and go clumpy or start to flake off. It doesn't transfer throughout the day. For $7, it is an absolute winner. And then lastly, I have some lipsticks by W7, which is available at Chemist Warehouse. Now, again, this is one of those cheap brands that people really sleep on, but I have found some amazing products throughout the range and the lipsticks are just phenomenal. I have two different formulas here. First up is the Lippy Chic Ultra Cream Lipstick. And first of all, the packaging of these, how sleek. Like, are you kidding me? They have a soft matte feel to them and they just look luxe. Like, the formula is very opaque. It glides on the lips. It's long lasting. And the shade range is just Oh my god, like right up my alley. So I have two shades here. First up is Shout Out, and then I have Gossip. Now that I've tried these two out and worn them quite a few times, I definitely want to pick up some more. And then the other formula that I have is the Velvet Luxe. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips now. This is in the shade What's Nude, and this has become my go-to nude lipstick. I cannot get enough of it. Again, the formula is beautiful. It's quite similar to the Lippy Chic formula. I don't really see too much of a difference there, but this shade just does it for me. It's got that beautiful peachy undertone. It's not too light where it looks like you've got concealer lips. And I find it just goes with any eyeshadow look. All right, well, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you have tried any of these products, what your thoughts are on them, because I would love to have a chat about it. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a ton of content about affordable drugstore makeup that is available here in Australia. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to go and watch part one if you haven't already. And other than that, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.